What his name? What his name? How many Marines are in the house? Error! Oh, 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 oh. Fly high. I see more. Going yeah. <laughs> uh, can't hide. There's plenty of them. Thank you for coming. I want to thank Adam. Coming all the way from you. Block that kick, <laughs> Brian! <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> Kenneth, thanks for coming to New Mexico. Woo! And Jack and Appreciate that. The Buford girls for making it all the way down here. The Minnesota crew in the back corner. Yeah. Yeah. And, and everyone from New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for making it here. I appreciate that. I too have to do this. I, uh, Where's your glasses? Just, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Zoom in, Dad. Zoom in. No, wait. We're, we're zooming in right now. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Is that 72 plus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm not a semi-serious note. To Giselle, uh, as someone who raised my son, to be a perfect gentleman, um, I think you're getting quite the catch. But, you know, he's getting uh, better catches, Mr. Luck. He's getting you. I'm really happy about that. So I'm also happy that my son has found you. You are a wonderful, exceptional, caring, loving person. And you mean the world to him. So with that, you hold a special place in my heart because you're the one who makes my son truly happy. Page two. <laughs> Okay, this is about marriage. It's a simple, it's only a few sentences. Marriage is fun, it's a great adventure. It's full of surprises, twists, turns, ups, downs, the whole works. Take it for someone who's been married for a long time. A long time. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> but it's still an exciting journey. I love it. There's nothing better than being there, married to someone that you love and want to spend time with. So with that little bit, there's three little things I'd like to say with it. It's all about how to keep a happy marriage besides God. Love one another, pay attention to one another, and I always put the other one first. Yeah. That's all, you have a wonderful marriage and you can keep that going that way. And don't now, say you're wrong, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> I always am. I, I have a little story about Giselle. Um, Andrew sent a picture to us. Uh, it was a while ago. And it was him and her sitting in a car. And our oldest daughter, Kelly, got the picture first. She texted us and said, Oh my God, Andrew is riding in a car with the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Aww. So we got on the look. <laughs> What's going on here? And there was a picture of Giselle sitting in the car. And well, Kelly's little daughter, she was six at the time, she said, uh, what are you looking at, Mom? She goes, I think it's Andrew's girlfriend. And she goes, oh, she's a pretty, pretty princess. <laughs> so now, Gigi in our house, and all the house, all the relatives, is known as Gigi, the pretty, pretty princess. <laughs> I have one other story. Uh, and it's in reference to deer hunting. I hope I don't offend anyone with hunting. <laughs> but, uh, we hunt on our family farm back up in Minnesota, and there's usually six, eight, ten, twelve of us that go out there. One year, Andy brought Gigi out to the farm. Got her dressed up in orange, put her in a deer stand, did everything that everybody else did. And we got a deer that day. And so it was out in the field, and everyone came in because we heard the shots. And I'm standing there with a knife, and Gigi walks up, and she looks, and she sees the deer, and she's like, huh. Oh, that's a dead deer right there. Look at that. <laughs> and, Andrew, and I said, yeah. And I said, here's the knife. I said, you get field dressed because you're the newest person here. She looked at Andrew. She goes, uh-huh. <laughs> and I said, no, you don't have to. We'll take care of that. We 
started doing it. I said, but because you didn't do it, you have to take bite out of the heart because that's tradition. I said, respect for the animal. And she looked at Andrew and went, uh-huh. <laughs> and I said, okay, you don't have to do that. So somewhere along the line, uh, someone, I think it was Andrew, got a little blood off the, the heart, put it on her cheek. And, uh, she, she was such a sport about all of it. She didn't back down, she stood there, and she helped with everything. She could, and everything she did with the family, going to the different farms or different places to meet the family, she jumped right in and was part of all of it. And I said, that one's keeper. We're going to keep that one out. So, on that, I only have two more minutes. And then I'll, uh... hey, I don't need you to help. Or maybe I do. <laughs> That's pretty small, too. I got it. And then we'll be back to, oh, there we go. Zoom in. I got it. <laughs> Alright. I try not to cry with you this morning. Then I'm gonna get my glasses. <laughs> Even zoomed up. Okay, you want the sweater shades? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got it. Thank you. <laughs> so when my son found Giselle, I was so thrilled with him, along with the rest of the family. We were so excited to get to meet the woman that makes Andrew so completely happy, so whole. We have never seen him as happy as he is with you by his side. There's no words for me to express how thankful I am to you. Now that I know you, I love you like my own daughter. Welcome to our family. Yeah. Woo! Woo!